No, I think we need to talk about sales and something we've been doing quite some time now that does give us a very big boost in sales. Hey, it's Don. Today I wanted to talk about sales. It's one of the biggest problems I'm hearing from everybody out there. Sales are just terrible. Now, it is summer, so sales for many people automatically die in summer for some items. Obviously, items are seasonal to begin with, so there could be some major issues with what you are selling. Aside from that, now, we've been testing and doing all sorts of things with the store to see what we can do. We've got a large inventory, around 30,000 items in the store I share with everybody that we've been playing around with, testing and stuff like that. I've also been talking directly very, very, very extensively with some Patreons of mine, as well as a couple other folks that we've talked to and known for quite some time. Now, everybody has come to the basically same conclusion so far as we have, and that being that if our items sit in our store and have been in our store without being refreshed by ending and selling similar, longer than say 30 or 34 days those items will get less sales every single time than items that were relisted within a 30-day time span so basically if you've got items that you've just let run they've been listed for more than 34 days those items that have been up for longer than 34 days 30 days somewhere in that range no more than 34 or so is what we've tested but those items just won't get as many views they won't get as many sales now, I can say this with a pretty darn good certainty from just my personal experience. We've tested this well over two dozen times. We've not done end and sell similar. We've seen what happens. We've let some listings stay up quite a bit longer without doing anything to the listings just to see them run and see what happens. We've let some run for 74 days and just let them set there. We had some business we had to take care of, so we figured this would be a good time. Just let them set and see what happens. The minute, every time, not just once, not just twice, three times, four times, five times, but every time I do end and sell similar, every time I get a boost in sales, every time. And if I keep doing that end and sell similar, rotate all of my items every 30 days, again, end every listing and then sell them as similar, it, it always has the same effect. It always seems to give us a good boost. Now, our sales have skyrocketed up. 30% is not an unheard of increase for doing this with some of your items. I'm doing them three times a month. Every 10 days, I'm ending and selling similar one third of my store, 10,000 listings. Yes, I have quantity. I have quantity up. Something many of you may not have, but you still have the same option to be able to relist your store. Now, if you're going to end and sell similar your items, that's going to count as a whole new listing. So if you don't have enough free listings with the level of store you have, it will bill you whatever rate you have for any listing over your limit. So make sure you understand that aspect of it. Now, I've also seen sometimes when you fill in the uh, item specifics that sometimes those disappear. I've had some disappear that were filled in and I didn't end and sell similar, so it's hard to say what's going on with those. I might also add if you've got, say, a multi-quantity listing or variations or something in a listing, those could revert to how they were the very first day you listed them. So just FYI, keep that in mind. I've personally not seen any quantities go off out of stray, but I do not have any variation listings in our store at all. So I, I never have to deal or even mess with those sorts of things. Now, as I said, we've also talked very extensively to other resellers, so resellers with large quantities of items up as well. Everybody seems to say the same thing, those that I talk to. The majority of every one of those folks that I talk to does get a reasonable, a very reasonable boost by ending and selling similar, especially now after the October 12th of last year update that they did and they changed a bunch of stuff around. So it's not just me. It's not just me saying, hey, do this for views or anything else like that. On my end, my side of this, it works. It works without a doubt. It's repeatable every single time I do it. 
So that's our game plan going forward. Our sales are looking really good now, doing it this way every 10 days. Now you can figure out whatever you want. You can do it any way you want. You don't have to listen to what I'm saying, but if you haven't at least tried it, you're letting your items stay for months on end on eBay, they're most definitely, at least if they're similar items to mine, hiding or ghosting them after they've been for a certain length of time. Now I know a lot of people said, well, they're doing it on purpose. They're trying to penalize us and all this kind of stuff. It may not be on purpose. They may have done something in the system and not have a clue that it's actually even doing this. A large chunk of the time when an issue, a glitch, or anything else like that is found, we report it to eBay, and they haven't a clue it's even going on until we see it. So uh, that's just what I'm seeing here. So my personal recommendation, based on months of actual testing and on many, many dozens of testings, as well as talking to many people, is to refresh your listings. Don't just let them relist. If it keeps the initial start date that your item was started on eBay, you got to get rid of that. That's the biggest factor because other data, metadata, or whatever else is flying around with it in eBay searches is most definitely burying some of those items. If you're in a flooded category, that could hurt you even more. Because not only do you have all the competition, but your items could be buried among all the competition. So old items, stale items, as far as eBay is concerned, by all evidence I've personally seen, as well as many other people I've seen, shows that you can't let them sit up for any length of time. Now, it's not a super, super huge ordeal. It does take some time when you're doing 10,000 listings like us, but if you're doing several hundred or even a few thousand, it's not so bad. You can do 200 listings at a time. It only takes a few minutes to do them. Now, I have videos up here showing you exactly how to do it. I'll try and remember to put a link into the description box that shows you how to do exactly what I'm talking about. Now, it has been a game changer for many, many people. It has refreshed and brought back many stores from the dead. Keeping that product up there, though, for any length of time to eBay makes it seem like the item has no desirability and doesn't have an interest. It's just not the case, though, when you're having rare, scarce, or one-offs, or things that are unique and vintage. Those items just take the right person online to see them for them to sell. Now, too, as well, we do bins. Buy it nows for almost everything that we sell. We very rarely do auctions. If you're doing auctions, you're probably taking home less for the common and non-rare items than you would if you did them at a higher bin rate. We've got pricing structure fixed into our things, so I can afford to take offers and all that sort of things on them as well. Now, I also need to add that we do run sales and markdowns. I do those regularly. Every two days, I end and start a whole new batch of them. Those coincide as well with my end and sell similar that we do. Again, I'll try to have a link down in the description box to the video showing you every step you need to know how to end and sell similar your items if you're unaware of how to do that. It does help, though, running a sales and markdown at the same time as well as continuously running them throughout the time. I run a sale every two days. The minute one ends, we're starting another one. So there's always sales running on. Again, you've got to be able to price your items correctly with some playroom so you can accept and bounce back and forth with offers. All that gives us a boost as well as well over 80%. Four out of five people that I talk to or higher have results from doing this. It's not some fad. It's not some strange thing. Many other resellers do this. Many other people out there have had good results with it as well. If you haven't tried it, you're missing out on potential there. Now, I can't promise you it's going to work for every store. It, it depends on what you have up. Our items are unique. They're vintage. It's going to take the right person. So even if I end and sell similar, the right person might not pop online until six or seven days after I've ended and sold similar. So I still get that boost until the next time I end and sell similar. So it's just one of those things that works better than anything else out there. I don't promote listings at all either. And this has been as good, if not better, than when we did promote listings. We did promote listings way, way back, two or three years ago. Haven't done them since, and I haven't looked back either. But the bottom line, once again, is that the 30-day end and sell similar option here works the best for us. Now, I sincerely wouldn't say that if I didn't honestly feel that that would help the majority. Four out of five people, again, is at least the odds, if not better than that. You don't have much to lose by ending and selling similar if you do it correctly and carefully. 
as long as you've got your price structure set up. We do a 3X on most of our prices. I can discount something 30% off. I can still send an offer out and allow a counter up to a certain point, and I'll still be making more than the bottom end on those pieces. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. human shape